Good morning and welcome to Transformative Thoughts with Reverend Reggie. I am Reverend Reginald Howard, the founder and spiritual director of Truth and Transformation Ministries. This month, our theme is will, and the will is activated when you align your human mind with God's good will. Will is activated when you align your human mind with God's good will. And we know that God's good will rests within our soul. Each week at Truth and Transformation Ministries, we affirm a passage from my book, Transformative Thoughts, The Soul Sacred Shift. This week's affirmation is, I choose insight versus injury on my sacred journey. It is located on page 95. And for those who have a book, you may follow along with me as I read. And for those who do not have a book, you may simply reflect on the words as I read them. Let's take the affirmation at the top three times together. I choose insight versus injury on my sacred journey. I choose insight versus injury on my sacred journey. I choose insight versus injury on my sacred journey. Let that affirmation marinate in your soul for just a moment that you are choosing insight. You're going with the flow of God within your soul. That you are saying yes to the spirit within you. Let us all read in unison together. The universe requires that I learn and grow spiritually. Insight or injury are the two routes from which I must choose in order to advance on my spiritual path. The spiritual path that contains injury does not allow me to grow, does not allow me to listen to God and renders me emotionally confused. The spiritual path that embraces insight gives me the inner light which guides me on the highway of life. As I illuminate my light, every crooked place is made straight on my sacred path. God's will does not render me ignorant, afraid, or confused. In fact, Sacred scripture says, the divine has not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. I bathe my consciousness in self-respect and release the notion of victimhood. I am a spiritual master who thinks, speaks, and acts with divine insight. Mental and emotional injuries cease because I do not have a victim mentality. Insight is my light as I live, love, and learn on this divine journey. God's eternal light forever shot sheds new light on who I am. God is, therefore I am. I am the way, the truth, and the life of God. That passage is based upon the book of John, the 14th chapter, the 6th verse. Now let us brown this affirmation that I choose insight versus injury on my sacred journey. Let's ground it through the transformative energy of prayer. Just close your eyes where you are and become relaxed in the transformative energy of God. Let's take some deep breaths in, breathing in the divine will of God and releasing our own human.
One last deep breath in, breathing in the wisdom of God. And releasing ignorance. Right here, right now, we all choose insight versus injury on our sacred journeys. We are choosing to embrace the divine insight within us rather than injury on our sacred journey. We learn through two routes, either through insight or we learn through emotional pain. And right now, divine understanding and wisdom is guiding us to develop our spiritual selves through spiritual understanding and insight. It's time for us to move up higher in consciousness, knowing who we are and exactly what we came to do. The path that contains injury, emotional injury, does not allow us to listen to God and it renders us confused. But we know on this divine journey, we don't have to be confused. The scripture says, knock and the door shall be open. And right now we are opening the doorway of our minds. What are we opening it to? To the divine understanding that's within us. We go to that place where we, where the spirit is revealed. And as the spirit is revealed, we apply our spiritual understanding on this journey. And we step higher in wisdom, releasing all shame and guilt. Shame and guilt rob us of our self-respect and create emotional injury. And as we illuminate our light, every crooked place is made straight on our sacred path. God's will can only be good for us. God's will does not render us confused, ignorant, and afraid. We know that we have a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. And we bathe our consciousness in self-respect as we release the notion of victimhood. We are spiritual masters who think, speak, and act with divine insight. We are spiritual masters who think, speak, and act with divine insight. Insight is our light as we live, love, and learn on this divine journey. Yes, we are on a divine journey. We are spiritual beings governed by spiritual laws. And right now, through the divine will, we, are, we align ourselves with the spiritual laws of our being. God's eternal light forever shines new light on who I am. God is, therefore you are. You are the way, the truth, and the life of God. You are the way, the truth, and the life of God. This is how God gets himself into the world through you. So it's time to release the negativity that's within your mind and step up higher in consciousness and in confidence and in character. We're going further in knowing who we are and knowing exactly what we came here to do. Let those who agree with that prayer affirm with me, thank you God, in me, as me. Thank you, God, in me, as me. Thank you, God, in me, as me, and so it is. Let us take another deep breath in.
and release. Good morning again, and thank you for joining me on this broadcast as we go deeper into understanding who we are as spiritual beings. Again, our affirmation this week is I choose insight versus injury on my spiritual journey. Think about that for a moment. That you are choosing, you are consciously choosing insight versus injury versus injury on our sacred journey. Now what does that injury refer to? If that injury could refer to uh, both physical ailments and emotional ailments, such as depression and anxiety and all things that keep you out of the alignment, out of the will of God. We want to go further so that this morning that we begin to understand who we are. And the divine will, again, is activated when you align your human will with God's good will. We have to begin to accept that God can only be good to us. That's, that's the best that, that God can give forth, is to be good to you. God's will is not bad for you. But in many instances, we have been taught that. We have been taught that the youth, that God's will, the divine will, has not been good. And it's like I've heard many ministers say that the coronavirus has been heaped upon us because God is angry. There's no anthropomorphic God in the sky with human emotions. God is not angry. Man has caused whatever ailments that we are experiencing right now through our own ignorance. So this morning's affirmation, I choose, I choose insight versus injury on my sacred journey begs the question, what happens when you use the gift of insight? What happens when you use the gift of insight? Number one, you develop spiritual understanding. Now, the scripture says, knock, and the door shall be open. That means that you shall knock on the doorway of your mind, and understanding should flood your entire being. Your understanding, or understanding is a spiritual principle that lives within you, and when you open yourself to it, it opens itself to you. Now, it's been through spiritual understanding that I've had to learn that I don't have to grapple with answers. Whenever there is a problem, I realize and know that God is always the solution. And that's what you need to affirm to yourself. Whatever issues that you may have going on today, you have to realize and know that God is the answer. And the key is to listen to the still, small voice within your soul. Now, many of the sermons that I have generated and worked through all of the years have come through the spiritual understanding that lives within me. I remember uh, some years ago, several people used to ask me, how do you come up with your sermons? I come up with them through listening to the still small voice within me. There's an eternal broadcast that's going on within you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It takes spiritual practice to listen to the small, still small voice of God. And the key is to meditate. So you've got to practice the presence of God. When you wake up in the morning, before you get out of the bed, you should meditate, listening to that still small voice. It gives you a framework for moving throughout the day. Even if you did it for one minute, begin to train yourself to say, I'm listening to that still small voice of God. It tells me everything that I need to know to be successful on this, on this sacred path. So before you get out of the bed, 
begin to tune in and listen to the still small voice. This is how you increase your understanding. Because we don't have to grapple with, with, with and for answers as we did in school. We were trained and we were taught and many times in school to think hard on a question. Think hard over a problem. The spiritual understanding within you simply reveals the answer and what direction you need to go and exactly what must be done. Number two, when you use your gift of spiritual insight, you develop wisdom. And wisdom is simply the application of spiritual understanding. And as you apply your spiritual understanding to your everyday living, you will grow in wisdom. You have to grow in your wisdom by applying your spiritual understanding. Recently, my blood pressure began to elevate. It wasn't in the area where it was dangerous, but it began to elevate. And I began to listen to my voice, I mean, listen to my body because my body has divine intelligence. Your body has divine intelligence. And as I began to listen to my body, my body told me it was time to be detoxed. So I began to uh, detox my body. I began to drink more water. I began to fast. And my blood pressure became See, we, we, many times we don't, even, we don't even listen to ourselves. We have to listen to the still small voice is speaking to you. The scripture says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So to be in alignment with the will of God, which is our theme again this month, to be in alignment with the will of God means that you have to be healthy. There's no such thing as sickness in God and still be in the will of God. See, we can't be double-minded. The scripture says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So we're coming out of disease and emotional and physical injury and stepping up higher and saying this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and it is in alignment with the will of God. And the will of God for you is always good. The will of God is for you to be healthy, to be well, and to be whole. So let's step into all of what God's will for us is right here, right now, in this moment. We don't have to wait to go to the other side to be glorified. I say it every week that Jesus said, you don't have to look here. You don't have to look there that the kingdom of heaven is within you. What is that kingdom? The kingdom is the realm of the ever-expanding good. So if you are having a good time on this side, you most certainly will continue on when you leave this journey and elevate to the other side. You're going to have an even more good time. See, we don't have to wait to be glorified. The time for you to prove God in your life is right now. The scripture even says, prove me now. And right now is the point of power. Use your power to live the best life right now and to be in the will of God. What happens when you use the gift of insight? Number three, you release guilt and shame. Now that's a big one. See, the scripture even tells you, if you have sinned, Sin no more. That is what Jesus said. If you have sinned, sin no more. That means that you just simply have to walk away from your mistakes. You examine them, you learn from them, and then you release them. Your sin, your mistakes don't have to be the ruling uh, nature of your life. Shame and guilt rob you of your self-respect. And your self-respect is how you step into your spiritual act, spirituality. It's your spirituality that makes the difference. Are you a man or are you a woman of God? 
Uh, are you a man or a woman that obeys yourself in being sinful? And I can't, re I can't repeat enough how many times I've heard this, the uh, scripture where the person has kept telling me, said, well, all have fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah, but how long are you going to keep falling short of the glory of God? How long are you going to continue to remain on the outside of the will of God? It's time for you to begin to align your human self with your God self and begin to say yes to the good will of God that's within you. You have the power to transform all your perfections, imperfections. You have the power to transform all your imperfections. The scripture says, be ye therefore perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. What is it talking about? Aligning yourself with that perfect spirit within you. See, the human part of us many times becomes willful and it wants to go in its own human direction and override the divine will of God. That's how we cause emotional injury on our path. And recently, the gentleman who was the, the governor of, well, he wanted to be governor of Florida, he was the mayor of Jackson. Uh, Tallahassee. Tallahassee. He was, he was the mayor of Tallahassee. And he, he recently said that he had an alcohol problem. See, he caused some emotional injuries to himself. He has some problems that he needs to, what, clean up. Now at least he's on the path of acknowledging I have a problem, and now I'm going to, now I'm going to clean it up. I'm cleaning up my emotional debris that's not serving me. And when we begin to acknowledge our issues, that begins to give us high level self-respect. Because if we dislike ourselves, if we reject ourselves, our brains completely shut down and say, well, you, you don't like yourself, so why should I even work on your behalf? We are now moving into a place with everything that's going on in the world that is requiring us to step up higher in consciousness. What do I mean by consciousness? I mean awareness. Awareness of who we are as spiritual beings. So you have to be transformed through the renewing of your mind and you can transform any situation any problem through the renewing of your mind why do we emphasize the mind so much in truth and transformation ministry we emphasize it because it is our connecting link to our spiritual self and whatever we have in our minds that's negative blocks the divine will of God and it's, and it's you that's blocking it it's not, it's, it's not God that's holding back anything. God is with you as we affirm every week. Wherever we are, God is. God is with you. But it's you that's not stepping into the awareness that God is saying, come, receive this. This is good stuff. Step into your peace. Step into the good will of God. Step into the harmony of God. Step into whatever is good. For you, the scripture says, I have made everything good and very good. I have made everything good and very good. That means that the divine will for you is good. That means that you as a spiritual being is good. That means that everything that you create, as long as you have your mind, human mind, made up in the will of God, is good. So it's time to step out and say yes to the good will of God that's within you. And you do it through stepping into your insight. Insight gives you the ability to see into things, conditions, and people. And you are the projector that can project this good will into every circumstance, condition, and situation. You're the key 
You're the one that makes the difference on your spiritual journey. Just decide today that I am a spiritual being that is experiencing insight and not emotional injury on my journey. Again, what happens when you use the gift of insight? You develop spiritual understanding, you develop wisdom, and you release shame and guilt. I want to thank you for joining me this morning on today's broadcast. We want you to like and to share this transformative message. Please like and share this transformative message. This is a liberating message that everyone needs to hear. This is a liberating message that everyone needs to hear. We need to get out of the throes of sin and step into the knowingness that we are sinless because of the spirit that lives within us. So like and share this transformative message. Also, please subscribe to the Truth and Transformation Ministries YouTube channel. We want 1,000 subscribers before September the 15th. 1,000 subscribers before September 15th. Also, to donate to Truth and Transformation Ministries, you may do it through Cash App, which is PayPal dot me forward slash transform the number seven paypal dot me forward slash transform the number seven you may also do it through cash app cash app is dollar sign transformation 1971 dollar sign transformation 1971 to order my book, you may dial 404-274-4300. My book, Transformative Thoughts, 404-274-4300. Also, if you are suffering from anxiety or depression, I am a spiritual clinical therapist who is able to work with you both from a therapeutic and a spiritual standpoint so that you begin to align yourself with the human, with the divine will, with the divine will of God that's within you to, so that you know that you are a perfect, whole, and complete spiritual being. Thank you again for joining us this morning. Please join us next Sunday as I teach the entire month on the divine will of God that exists within your being. Have a happy, transformative, and a productive week.